Hello beautiful family, so here we are in Leeds, as you can see, Gareth's there and the, the rain is uh, somewhat stopped, so for the moment I pray that in the name of Jesus that the Lord keeps it like this and I'm going to try and put this into the into this harness now, so it's pointing that way and hopefully I won't turn it off as I'm doing it. Right, all set. Uh, I did. I, I did start it, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. We are recording. <laughs> right. Okay. Here we go. God bless you, Leeds. We have come here to tell you that time is short and that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming. The rapture of the church is going to take place any moment now. Just like it states in the Holy Bible, the Lord, the Lord Himself will descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ will rise first and then all believers, all born again Christians are going to be caught up into the clouds with the resurrected in Christ to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus Christ Jesus Christ is coming, are you ready? Are you saved? If not, you're going to be left behind when the Lord Jesus raptures all believers up into heaven. And then we'll start Great Tribulation, seven year apocalypse period. And you don't want to be here, you don't have to be left, you don't have to be here, you don't have to be left behind to face the apocalypse period. If you will do this one thing and believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be taken to heaven and you'll be spared going through the apocalypse when billions of people are going to lose their lives according to the holy word of God. So please, if you haven't believed on Jesus, do it now. God's only looking at your heart. It's not about anything you must do. Your salvation is the fruit. The Bible says you must be saved. You must be born again to enter into the kingdom of heaven. If you're not born again, you go into hell. That's the truth. You're born again when you believe the truth of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because you need saving. You need forgiveness of sin. Like the Bible says, we have all sinned. We've all broken God's commandments. The Bible says, though, the wages, the penalty, the payment of sin, the end of sin is death. But the gift, the free gift of God, which he wants to give everyone, according as as it is written in his holy word, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord for anybody and everybody that believes. But Jesus said, except you believe, except you repent, except you change your mind and believe, you will perish and you'll land in hell. Please believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. If you mock and if you scoff, well, you're fulfilling Bible prophecy, which says, in the last days, many mockers and scoffers will come. Please, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. There's only one requirement, and that is that you believe in your heart the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. How that Jesus was crucified on that cross to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins, according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures. And when you believe this in your heart, you'll be justified before the great and awesome God of this world. The moment you call upon the name of the Lord, you will be saved, saved with everlasting life, sealed until the day of redemption, sanctified, justified by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. You'll have a one-way ticket to heaven and you'll escape what is coming upon this world. It's starting already. Look around the world. Can't you see? Open your eyes. Wake up, people. We're about to enter Great Tribulation Apocalypse period. And I tell you something, if you, if you ignore all God's messengers and you just hang around, well, you're going to wait. You're going to hang around and wait and see. You will see what's coming upon this world. Jesus Christ said that men's hearts are going to faint from fear when they see what is coming upon this world. That's why we are here, to tell you how simple it is for you to be saved. 
how simple it is for you to not be left behind to face this great tribulation apocalypse period. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Time is very, very short. Jesus Christ is coming. People, wake up. Wake to righteousness and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You won't be perfect even after you're saved. You'll have slips, you'll sin, but you're saved. And once you're saved, you're sealed until the day of redemption. And it doesn't matter how many times you fall, once you're saved, though the righteous fall, yet seven times he gets back up again. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. Except you repent, the Lord Jesus said, except you repent, you will all likewise perish. That means you'll land in hell if you reject the free gift of God, which is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord for everyone that believes. It doesn't matter how much evil you might have done in this life because Jesus Christ has promised he will not turn anyone away. He said, I will in no wise cast away anyone that comes to me, no matter how much evil you've done. He will accept you. He'll welcome you with open arms. He'll pour out his love. Christ Jesus will pour out his love, his grace, his peace. He'll write your name in the book of life. He'll write your name in heaven. You will have a mansion awaiting you in heaven. But except you repent and believe on the Son of God who died for all our sins on that cross, who was buried and rose again from the dead, you will perish You'll be left behind to face the seven-year apocalypse period and potentially you'll land in hell. So don't be one of the many who take their chance and only find out how real hell is when you land there. It's a place of utter torment where people are weeping and wailing and gnashing their teeth, where the worm never dies and the fire never goes out. And if you reject the free gift of God, that's where you're going. And love tells you the truth. I don't like telling you, particularly, that if you don't believe on Jesus, you go into hell. But I'm telling you because I love you. Moreover, God loves you. He doesn't want any to perish. God wants all to be saved. According to his word, God wants all to be saved. According to his word, all can be saved. It's not about religion. It's not about going to one of these churches. It's about having some faith in your heart and believing on the Son of God who so clearly and evidently died for all our sins on that cross. According to the scriptures, he was buried in a tomb and God raised him to life on the third day. Believe on this. Believe this in your heart. Call upon Jesus. I said, come into my life, Lord Jesus. He did. He saved me. He baptized me in his own spirit, Holy Spirit. I know I'm going to heaven. I know that there's a mansion awaiting me in heaven. And it's not because of any good work that I did, but because I believed on the one, the only one who is perfect, the Son of God, who lived a perfect life. He never sinned. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now, I can't, I can't understand why all, so many people are rejecting the free gift of God, which is eternal life through Jesus Christ. But I have an idea why. Because this government, you might think your government cares about you. Oh, no, they don't. Not only do they not care about you, they want you destroyed. That's the truth. So wake up, please, people. Turn off those TVs. You're being programmed. You're being manipulated through the TV, through the black mirror. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent simply means you're changing your mind from your unbelief and you're believing on the Son of God who died for all our sins on that cross. If any man says he has no sin, he deceives himself and the truth is not in him. If you say you have not sinned, you're making God a liar. You're calling God a liar. For God says all have sinned. All come short of the glory of God. And that the wages of sin is death. Death. That means hell. 
except you repent. That's where you're going to hell. Please wake up. We don't want you to go to hell. We don't want any to go to hell. God doesn't want any to go to hell. I mean, please, God bless you, Leeds. Just going to stop this one, guys, and upload it to you.